I'm here at Alamoana Center at Hawaiian Islands Creations where Alana Blanchard and Bethany Hamilton are doing a little promotions for both HIC and their brand Rip Curl. Uh, I, I see that Pancho Sullivan is with the girls, it's kind of squaring and they're here on the event. So let's see if we can say hi to Pancho Sullivan and see what he has to say about his very first surfboard. All right, the uh, very first surfboard I ever owned uh, was a Dick Brewer uh, twin fin, and um, I, I want to say it was 5'2". Um, I don't remember how wide it was, but I, I couldn't carry it under my arm. I had to, you know, carry it on my head. Um, and uh, I kept bugging my mom for about six months. I wanted a surfboard, I wanted a surfboard, and and uh, I just, I couldn't believe it when I woke up in the morning. I think it was, uh, I got it for my birthday. And I was just, just completely over the moon. And it was, a, I, I remember it was like a blue, kind of a like pale blue airbrush. Um, and it had like a yellow pinstripe uh, on the rail. And uh, that was uh, probably the best birthday present that I ever got. <laughs> so what was the oldest influence on you when you started surfing? Um, you know, I, I think I was influenced, uh, you know, it's hard to pinpoint one person. Um, you know, I think just uh, so many people on the, you know, in the North Shore community that, um, you know, that were, was really good to me as a kid and, you know, encouraged me to, to get out there and surf and, um, you know, it'd be what hard year, to... What year was that? Uh, I, would have, I would say like around 1979, 1980, somewhere around there. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha.